G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna have another go at my Phoenix pour today. The last one I did was this guy here, where I stood here and I held two cups and I did the jiggle pour at the same time. That was really, really hard to do. Um, and what I'm going for are these fingerlings. See these little curves like this? That's what I'm gonna try and achieve. So that kind of look. I don't want to do two though, I want to do this one. And I want to have the yellow at the top. So I'm going to put the yellow in first. And hopefully that will work. Uh, let me grab a cup. Oh, I forgot to get a cup. <clears throat> All right, that one will do. A little stripey one, look at that. All right. <clears throat> Uh, now, I'm just using Floetrol. When I do these fingerlings, I just use Floetrol. I've tried with uh, glue and water, and it doesn't work as well. Um, they're more pointed. So I don't know if it's the Floetrol or, or what, but I'm going to have a go at that. So two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and I'm using the Globals. Uh, this one here is the Warm Yellow. And then there's the warm red, and I'm separating the warms from the cools with the white. Uh, and then the navy is deep space. The turquoise is called peacock. It's just pale turquoise, turquoise with a little bit of white in it. And leaving a mound. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure how many layers. I think I might try for four layers, let's pour down the side, the paint just flows over itself, okay, one, if I don't get to four then that's okay, let's see what happens, just keep layering until I'm I've used up all the paints. So this is a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas. I'm using a little less paint than what I would use for if I'm doing flip cup pours. So this is three, because I want to be able to stretch the, like, you know, the, the lines, rings, fingerlings, whatever you want to call them. I want to be able to stretch them out. So less paint. Uh, if you use too much paint and then you tilt, you've pretty much covered the whole surface and then you know, haven't actually opened up any of the rings. So, yeah, I'm just going to see what happens with less paint. Probably even this is too much. I've got 75 grams of pouring medium, or Floetrol in this case to 25 grams of paint, so 75 grams. And I've got six colors. Um, so what's that? Probably too much. <laughs> I've got a calculator. Six sevens are 42, so um, I'm going to have about 450 grams, aren't I? I was only hoping for about 350. Never mind. It's done now. We'll see how it goes. I can cut back next time. I just remembered when I did a 30 by 60 centimetre canvas a while ago, I used this size cup. And it was full like this, and that was a, a 30 by 60 Maybe I should change canvases quickly. Ah, no, it's all right. I just, um, I think it's a bit much. I don't know how I managed to get that much. I think initially I was thinking it was one to one, but flow trolls two to one. Um, actually, no, I've only got five colours, haven't I? I was thinking I had seven, uh, six colours. So seven fives are 35. Okay. I don't know why, where I got six from. Five colours, 70-ish grams in each. 
Seven fives are 35. Okay. Well, that sounds a little bit better. Now I'm going to pinch this here and I'm going to do a, a jiggle pull, as in just move my cup up and down very, very gently. And off we go. As I get a bit closer to the um, canvas, I can slow down a little bit. Oops, I'm losing paint off the back. So I'm doing more of a, a ribbon, like pouring a ribbon really. You can see how it's coming down in a bit of a sheet, the paint. You just need to do it nice and slow. I put a touch of um, just a little blob of satin enamels in my white just to see what would happen. I don't know whether that was a good idea or not, but I did. <laughs> just to see what would happen. So the more you shake your cup, obviously the more mixed and blended your paint's going to be in the bottom of your cup. So <clears throat> try not to shake it too much. You only want to do little movements. Back and forth, back and forth, little folds. Takes a bit of concentration, just keep going. Nice slow movements. Where's my yellow? Come on, yellow. I want the yellow to come out last. Oh, here comes the red. So the yellow is after the red. Here it comes. So whatever goes into your cup first is going to come out last. Now see I'm very, very slowly doing my little ribbons now, my little jiggles, because there's not much paint left, so I really have to slow it down to get the same little shape that I'm after. And then you can just take it back, because this is going to go off the canvas anyway. Oh, that was tough. Saw back from holding it like that. Oh, I'm getting old. Saw back, eh? All right, let me get rid of my little cup. You can sit over there. I'll wash you in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Well, the white's looking interesting. I was hoping that just a tiny little blob of the satin enamels would help with the fingerlings, but I forgot that it kind of makes clouds. <laughs> but that's okay, we'll just see what happens. Uh, you know me, I like experimenting. So the first thing I want to do is cover here and here. There's plenty of paint, so I don't even think I'm going to try and cover my corners. Let's see what happens. So I do want to open up my fingerlings. Oh, it's looking a bit muddy, isn't it? Hmm. That's a shame. See, I changed the order. Normally I go navy, turquoise, white, yellow, red. But because I started with the yellow, I've changed my order. So whether or not that's got anything to do with the muddiness, I, I don't know. I'm thinking I might need some actually some paint on my corners. Um, what have I got? Not much. Got a cup of Naples yellow from the other day. I'll just pour a little bit of that in there. And just thin it out with a splash of water. Put a 
tiny bit of that in there because it's not exactly the right shade. That's not making much difference at all. <laughs> it's just gone yucky. Do you wonder why my colours have blurred like that? All right, let's just pop this on the corners. Just in case I don't get over all my corners. And at least I'll have something there, a little bit of protection. Can't see that side. But yeah, this is looking a little bit muddy. Might have thinned my paints a little too much, or um, it's the order. The order does make a big difference. I should have just stuck with my normal order, but I wanted the yellow to come out last. We shall see what happens. Okay, let's get back to tilting. I'm just going to leave the yellow up there for now. And it goes straight down, up to the side, straight down, up to the side. Okay. Fingerlings aren't amazing. I think I'm going to go off to the corner. I don't like that yellow. Well, it's a little bit left. That's okay. Hmm, not as good as I was hoping, that's for sure. Um, I actually don't mind the, the white, how it's doing its thing from the satin enamel. Um, I think I've just made it a little bit thin. My colours have, have muddied. Or the other thing is, if, you, if your colours do this... Um, I only put like three layers in instead of four because then the each layer will be thicker and it won't muddy as much. So that's another another thing you can do to help prevent muddiness. I'm just gonna take some of this white off the bottom. Actually, see what happens if I open up the sides a bit too. Maybe I can actually get the colour to come through. The whole idea with the Phoenix is to stretch everything out. That's looking better. Looking better already. As you stretch it, the rings open up and you can see the colour between them. Now I'm going to take the weight of the paint down to the bottom. And I'm going to see if I can get that white to go off. And come back to me. Actually, I'll turn it around so you can see. I want to get that corner off. Because it's looking a bit muddy. I'm 
Okay, well that's better, isn't it? <laughs> Look, I'm getting cells from the satin enamels. I've been wanting to do a ring pour with satin enamels, but um, haven't got to it yet. So many things I want to do. Just want to open things up a little bit. I think that's about all I can do, really. The white in the middle, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's, it's interesting. I'll give it that. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have put the white satin enamels in. <laughs> My bad. But hey, I just wanted to see what would happen. So yeah, I, I, mean, I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Looks as if the yellow's starting to split. My yellow might have been a little bit too, too thick still. But hey, there we go. What do you think? It's an interesting pour. I, I can't call it Phoenix, <laughs> but it's an interesting pour. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let me take it down for a close up. I guess if you, you, you know, you could open these up a little bit more. So that was only maybe, maybe 360 grams. I didn't get my fingerlings and you know, that was my fault. I shouldn't have put the satin enamels in it. I'll have to go again for my fingerlings. So a totally different look, isn't it? That satin enamel is really powerful. It just explodes on your canvas and, and takes over. Um, no, I was going to torch it, but I won't actually, because it just makes pit, little pit holes, little black dots, so where you bump, you know, you burst your bubbles. So, oh, you look at it from up here, the white certainly has taken over, hasn't it? But I do want to do um, a ring pour with satin enamels um, to get, you know, a cloudy, a cloudy ring pour, because it is pretty. Look at that some cute little effects in the middle there got some wispy see the red's gone really wispy and pointy nice colors there um, yeah I think my I think I probably should have just stuck to three layers instead of four uh, then my, my colors my rings or lines would have been thicker and uh, they wouldn't have blurred so much. Look at that. Red wisping into the turquoise. And in the well, the white's just done what the white does. I don't mind it. It's interesting. Um, so you've got a few little fingerlings there. I think I tipped all my yellow off because I've only got red left there, which is a bit of a shame. It's not much yellow left on the whole thing, really. Um, yeah, I kind of lost my yellow, but hey, it's, it's still a pretty poor. I'm happy with it. So there you go. <laughs> Learned something again, hey? All right, I, I will do one of these again. Um, not tonight though, I've got to clean up and set up, but uh, soon I'll have another go at the Phoenix, okay? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.